Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the recurve men's quarterfinal match number one. Bayanlar, baylar, klasik erkekler çeyrek finalinin ilk maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target number one, the actual number three in the world representing the Republic of Korea. Bir numaralı hedef, Kore'den Kim Woo-jin. And his competitor is the actual ranked number one archer in the world on target two, representing the Netherlands. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Hollanda'dan Steve Weiler. <laughs> the line judge for this session is Maçın çizgi hakemi Hannah Brown. <laughs> the target judge for this session is Maçın hedef hakemi Alexandra Vecchio Passerini. Well, are you wish you second? Okay. Are you both ready? Both ready? Target one is shooting first. So, target one is shooting first. Range is clear. Let's begin the match. Well, here we go. It's Kim Woo Jin of Korea on target one, and Steve Dwyer of the Netherlands on target two. Kim qualified by winning. The stage in Shanghai, Steve Vyer qualified as a ranked athlete, and it's Kim to get us off the mark. So not the start we are used to seeing from Kim, but... Well, a brilliant start from Steve Vyer. That's uh, right down the middle of the target. The best arrow I have seen today, and especially on a fresh target. That's yeah, that's amazing. That'll settle Kim's nerves for sure. Another ten. It's a good display so far from the Dutch athlete. shooting from Kim at 8, 10 and 9. But a big opportunity to provide to steal the set here. It's on the line. It's a perfect 30 and a perfect start for Dutch archer Steve Vier. And I wonder just how close that first arrow was to the spider. I, I think the spider disappeared. I think he killed it. <laughs> well, I think we may well get a look at where that first arrow landed. Here we go. Let's see how, or oh, look at those three red arrows from Steve Vier. Yeah, great group. And uh, Kim Woo Jin doesn't have a bad group either, but it's minus 13, <laughs> minus 0.13 centimeters. So yeah. like minus, minus a mil. Yeah. From the center of the target. That's a brilliant start. Now, you've been out there. First, you have what two is points it like for you to second. shoot an arrow like this? Well, to this start is. Things off. I think this, this arrow uh, is pretty first, much the, the exact thing you want if you're on the finals field like this, and and it must have felt great for him to shoot an arrow as good as this. A super start from Vaya. He leads the way, taking the set points. Remember, it's uh, six points these athletes are after. The scores are wiped clean, and we start the second set. Defending champion Kim Woo Jin will shoot first. It's a good ten. Seems like he's dialed in. His coach says that it's probably just out and he has a scope there, so he might be able to see it a bit better than we do. Adjusting his sight there. He has shot mostly left arrow, so I'm suspecting he uh, adjusted his sight to the left and maybe a couple clicks. 
downwards as well. That was not a good shot from Steve. He was he wasn't pleased with that. He uh, had a reaction to it immediately when he released it. So. Holding on a bit longer in this set, Kim Woo Jin scores a 28, a 10 required for Vaya to share the set points. Anything less will be all square. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he does it. So 28 is a is a pretty decent score, but um, in uh, in Kim's position, he he probably needs to shoot more than 28 to uh, get back in this match because uh, from what I've understood from. Uh, from our coach and uh, from Steve himself is that he's feeling really well. Yeah, interesting stuff. And we talked about the uh, you know, process that the, each individual athlete is used to. As we uh, look back at the tens uh, from that set, Kim Woo Jin was holding on a little bit longer. Steve Meyer, well, anything you can do do too uh, but we talk about the process and the individual uh, process of the athletes you have noticed three here you will shoot second of both okay. the very different yeah Kim Woo Jin target one is shooting first almost level in fact clear. it looks yeah. like his right foot slightly back Steve fires the other way round on the shooting line yeah so we call that a closed or an open stance uh, Kim has a, a closed stance as we call it so that's pretty much uh, uh, as you would say, yeah, well, parallel to the target or to the, the shooting direction. Uh, Steve has more of an open stance, which means that if he turns his shoulders in, there's a natural tension in his uh, abdominal region, and that might help him be a little more stable. Well, Kim still trailing by those two points, and uh, he'll shoot first as in the way in archery. Not too pleased with that shot, but I'm sure back, he, everybody sees, saw that. Bit of a slow shot. He's still low. Yeah, he's adjusting his sight. Focus with your arm. I'm Seems like he's struggling a bit to keep his side pin in the middle, and um, he's he's having to uh, correct his shots quite a bit. That might be nerves. It's difficult to say from here. That's definitely not nerves. A uh, good uh, indicator if you're new to archery is that all the bits hanging off the bow, if they're moving around, they're not as stable as uh, the archer would like them to be. And uh, 26 for Vaya uh, will be uh, confirmed once the uh, first arrow is measured. Could be promoted to 27, but it's still not going to be enough. And uh, Kim has got a big smile on his face because he's drawn level. Yeah, uh, maybe not just because he's drawn level, but I think he was uh, communicating with his team members on the on the, the benches. But um, yeah, he seems uh, he seems comfortable in this match, and he seems to be uh, quite relaxed and having fun. Well, he's started to dial in, as you put it. Let's have a look at uh, what he did in the last set there. And Kim is a, a very, very good example of how to uh, like release the string. First. Well, I was just about clear. to say, Chef, we haven't Shoot. seen the uh, trademark adjustment of the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> just as I was about to say it, up he pops Kim Woo Jin. He does it again, just for you. process for him. So Kim who shot first in the first set will shoot first here because the scores are level. It was a bit of a, a tense release I would say. His fingers didn't quite open as relaxed as he wanted to. So um, if, you, if you take a look at Kim's right hand at the moment of release, you can see that his finger is barely open. It, it's just that he relaxes his fingers and the string will pull through his fingers. So uh, yeah, Kim is a, a very good example of uh, yeah, how you should uh, release and how you should shoot in general. Uh, so is Steve, but Steve has a little bit more um, 
input of his own in his technique. So uh, the, the angles in his in his body are a bit different than uh, conventional. Kim can put this out of reach with a 10, but he goes with an eight. Uh, obviously not happy with that. Steve can put this away now with a 10. A bit wobbly. Just nine, so level pegging, and they share the set points, and we move in to the fifth set with everything level. And Kim Woo Jin shooting so well that, as we've seen before, one stray arrow can really cause a big problem for the athletes. And we get to look at all of his arrows now, and uh, the grouping all together. But that eight up and to the right. Yeah, yeah, the grouping is good, but it's it's not in the right place. So normally from Kim, if he has a group like this, it'll at least be in the middle. Uh, but now he has to two straight eights, and the rest is just a little low. Yeah, interesting. Target one, going shooting first. So Rate is now clear. far away from everything else. Shoot. But it's level pegging. Notice that Sivaya gets to the end of his draw and then has a sort of secondary slower movement with his elbow coming backwards. Yeah, that's uh, we call that movement the extending and uh, Kim gets so close to the clicker, the point of clicking, uh, that he doesn't have to move so much. So for Steve, that uh, the, the amount of points that he needs to still get through the clicker is a bit more and that means that his elbow has to move a bit more. But he d there's a definite no, slowing do down. That. He gets to a point, yeah. there's a stop, and then there's another slow movement at yeah, the end. Yeah, so the, the beginning of the draw doesn't really matter if you do it really fast or really slow. And uh, in the end, you want to be a bit more controlled. So you can pull it back quite fast in the beginning and then have a controlled movement up, up until the click. Wow. It's very interesting to have that complete contrast of styles yeah. between the two athletes. You see there that final movement at the elbow. Not the best shot, but uh, he corrected it and it still hit the 10. Kim seems uh, nervous on this last arrow. He's under pressure for sure. Could be decided on this. A long hold. Oh, oh, the pressure now it. all on the Dutch archer. He's got to score a 10. And it's a nine. It's a nine. So Kim Woo Jin wins this first match in what I would say a clash of titans. Yeah. Well, it's the uh, bronze medalist from the uh, 2017 World in Mexico who's gone out. Uh, the defending champion from Rome last year goes through and continues the defense of the title he won in Rome. And he actually won it in Tokyo in 2012. There is confirmation that Kim Woo Jin's progress here in Samson will continue as he makes it into the semi-finals.